Terry, welcome to the club. How does it feel to be a Charlton player? Thank you, mate. Yeah, it feels amazing. Um, having a look at the ground, meeting everyone at the training ground, it feels really good, so can't wait to get going. I know you've spoken to the manager um, ahead of the move. What kinds of things has he had to say to you? Yeah, I had a couple of conversations with him um, over the phone. Um, I think the big thing that stuck out to me was the ambition, uh, his plan and, and how he wants to execute it this season and just where the club is headed in a general direction. I think there's a really good feel to it. Um, and from what I've seen, there's no one better than this manager to take us forward. So I think it's really positive. And it's not just the manager that you've spoken to. I know you've done your homework on Charlton. Who else have you uh, spoken to, to to do a bit of research on us? Yeah, well, obviously, Kirky, he was on loan uh, at Burton last season. Um, so I knew him well. I uh, had a few conversations with him as well. Um, and everything he came out was positive uh, about the manager, the club, um, and just, the, just everything in general. So I think that was important for me to get a feel. Um, I had a conversation with a couple other lads that have been here in the past, um, which helped sway my decision. And yeah, everything, everything was positive, so definitely influenced me. And your research aside, your own personal research aside, um, there's been a lot of media speculation about where your next move would be after leaving Burton. Why have Charlton won the race for Terry Taylor? Yeah, well, there's obviously, um, there's always speculation and there was different talks um, with different clubs, but as soon as I spoke to the manager here, um, he gave me a real feeling that I'd be valued here and the direction the club's going, it's only up from here. Um, from what I've seen so far, I think, uh, the ambition the new owners taking over, um, they seem like they're going to run the club well. Um, so hopefully everything comes together and yeah, it can be a really positive season for us. And then going forward, who knows what could happen. And what are you hoping to achieve on the pitch this season? I think the obvious thing is, is promotion. It's, it's obviously early to say that, but if that's what we want to do, then you've got to set a goal. So that's looking quite far down the line. but. First and foremost, it'll be Saturday um, and then the first league game of the season against Leighton. But we just have to, that old cliche, take it game by game. Um, but with that end goal in mind, that yeah, we want to get into the championship. Saturday to come first, as you say, against Aberdeen, a, a place close to home for you. Do you feel ready to be involved in that potentially? Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel good. I've been training for the past few weeks. Um, I had an injury towards the end of last season, but um, I've kind of overcome all that and I feel really good. So uh, I'll see what the manager feels. If he thinks I'm ready um, to be in the squad or to play, then, then that'll be his decision. But yeah, I'll be ready if, if I'm called upon. And once you are out on the pitch, Charlton fans who haven't seen you play before, what can we expect from you? Uh, I'm a midfielder. I like to get on the ball. Um, dictate play, um, quite technical, but I like the other side of the game as well. I can roll my sleeves up and get in nitty gritty. So, um, yeah, I think I can do both sides of the game uh, going forward. I enjoy set pieces, delivering crosses, um, trying to set up other people. And I also want to add more goals into my game. So getting into the box and scoring as well. So that's what you can expect. And you were at the Den last night for a game against Millwall. How much did you enjoy watching from the stands? Are you someone who can sit back and enjoy a game or are you sort of on, your edge, on the edge of your seat winning headers and stuff? Yeah, I was there. I was there kind of undercover <laughs> because obviously it hadn't been announced yet, but I was, I was glad I went to the game. I think for a pre-season game, it's, it's probably the best I've seen. Um, it looked like both teams wanted it really bad. Uh, I think the rivalry played a part in that. But yeah, we played really well, um, especially the first 60 minutes. Once they got the goal, they kind of lifted a little bit, but um, I think there's loads of positives to take from it. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I was just itching. I was in my seat and I was, I was uh, speaking to everyone and I was saying, yeah, I, I wish I was on the pitch because it's frustrating watching the game, but it was good to get a, a first taste of the Charlton team. Yeah, you've kind of half answered my next question there, but does 
seeing your new team in action, does that add to that excitement and determination to get going from your side? Definitely, definitely. I um, I obviously watched a few of the pre-season games um, when I knew there was a chance I could be coming just to get a gist of, of how the manager plays and what all the boys are like. But seeing it in person is always is always much better. Um, you get a good idea of it. And yeah, I was just seeing some of the football we played. It was it was really positive. So I, I can't wait to get involved. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, mate. Cheers.